<laughs> same color. Hi, welcome back to NFT Gaming and for today's video, I'm gonna do a video about Vancouver. So if you love cats, then this project might be the one for you. Right now, I'm gonna review this project blindly and what I mean by blindly is that I do not know what is this project all about so we are gonna go through together. So when we first reach the main page over here, you can see that there is some multiple cat. You can see some blue cat, green cat, evil cat, red cat, octopus cat, dragon cat. Is there a such thing as dragon cat? And they have much, much more different types of cat. So if you see over here, it stated that Nekovers, the resting lands of all Nekos, governed by three mythical gods called the Ancient Triad. I'm not too sure who is the mythical gods, but I'm pretty sure we are gonna find out soon. So apparently in this project, they have a different kinds of element and the first one, they call it an Origin Quad. So Origin Quad is basically the typical normal elements, which is the water, fire, earth and wind. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's not wind, that's like nature. And the next group of element they call it the pancha triad so this pancha triad have the eyes the lightning darkness i'm pretty sure that looks like confused i mean it does look like a question mark so i'm pretty sure that is something to do with darkness but it can be darkness because if you look over here the void diet dia diet Diet, 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 diet. So basically, this group of element they have the sunlight element, on of course the void element, and I'm pretty sure that is between the light and the darkness. Therefore, it's called the void diet. So over here, you can see this is only an example at their website. They have a different attack, defense, speed, HP. CP and rarity and they can also equip three items which is the first one is a what I think is an armor the second one is probably a weapon and then the last one will probably some berries like in Pokemon Ooh, I think this project actually not bad because you can actually choose four types of profession when you start to play this game so the first one is called a farmer and then it's called a crafter the breeder and the final one necromancer I'm not too sure what each of these profession does but I'm pretty sure we are gonna find out in the white paper soon. So as with most other NFT projects out there, they have a breeding system as well. So I'm pretty sure those who actually play X Infinity would actually know the benefits of breeding. So over here, this is a different kind of realms or I can say the world. They have I think about 6 right now and each place has different map or I can say a different type of environment. So this is just a screenshot of how the gameplay actually works but I'm pretty sure there will be some changes after it is being released. So the first one we are gonna see is called item crafting so you will need to actually head over to a stone and then whack the stone in order for you to get your resources. <laughs> and of course we could not forget about the battling and you can see over here I pretty sure the battling will be a turn based battle. Since currently there's no NFT game out there is doing an open world MMORPG except Mill 4. And the next one you can even harvest your crop and this is kind of like farmer's world however in real time. So over here you can see that if you actually own a Necoverse NFTs you are able to access the Neko Lab site after the public meeting date. And what does this Neko Lab site is for you to actually breed your new Neko. They call it Nekos. And it's stated over here breeding Neko with different elements will result in all new Neko variants with very rare traits. I'm not sure if it's gonna bring you a rare traits if you are just combining between two common NFTs. And of course, if you have your NFTs, you are eligible for future rare NFT eggs and airdrop. So this is the most important part since I think that this is the one that increase the value of the NFT that the current NFT holders are holding. And of course the last benefit is for you to assess the beta gameplay. So usually in beta gameplay if you guys have not actually participated into one yet, they actually do not pay you anything in terms of token but they do actually reward you something else if you are able to report some bug. I'm not pretty sure how the admins for the game actually gonna reward the players but that's usually the case. So for the public meeting there are basically four elements which is one i told you about the basic one which is the fire water earth and the nature one and this is the nature one it looks cool all right it looks cool and the next one we're gonna see the water not bad not bad the next one is the earth yeah. and the last one is the fire and i'm pretty sure you guys would love the fire as you can see over here the front guy looks like nine tails i mean who do not love nine tails and this neko dragon right cat dragon so right now we are gonna take a look at the partners and we are gonna click at each 
of this. So the first one we are gonna see the Solana Art and at Solana Art they actually sell the NFT over there as well. And if we take a look at the price from low to high, it costs about 1.25 Solana. So the lower cost of the NFT is about $182 which is at 1.25 Solana. I mean sheesh! I will buy this. I will buy this guy but it's at 1.65. So 1.65 I'm pretty sure it's about $300. This guy is cool. This guy is not cool at all. Not not really cool. Now if you take a look at Magic Eden, it seems that the price is a little bit cheaper since you can see over here, it's at 1.18 sold compared to the previous one which is at Solana Art at 1.25 Solana. And you head over to FTX, I'm not too sure what's going on but it seems that there's nothing over here. And finally at SoulSea, you can see that the floor price is about 1.3 Solana. Oh my god, that's expensive. So if you guys want to buy the cheaper one, make sure to head over to magiceden.io. So over here you can see that this is how the process of their design um, we are gonna take a look over here. Yep, that's normal. That's nice. Very, very nice. And I'm pretty sure this is their office. So right now, we are gonna go through the white paper. And as per normal, we are not gonna go through every single thing in the white paper. As that might take super long. So for the prologue, we kind of know what is the game all about. Or the project is all about. So I'm gonna skip that. And we are gonna go straight to the elements, levels, and the profession. So over here, like I mentioned before, the origin quad is a fire, nature, earth, and water. The Pancha Triad, they call it all oh, spirit, ice, and lightning. So that question mark thingy, the like purple color question mark is called the spirit. And of course the void there, I'm bright, is called the light and dark. Even though it symbolizes as sun and the moon. So next we are gonna take a look at the levels and from here you will of course start from level 1. But I'm not sure if you can start at higher level assuming you are selling your Neko NFT in the marketplace. For example, if I have already reached level 15, I'm not too sure whether the other person can get that level 15 or it will reset to level 1 similar to X Infinity. So over here it stated that leveling up can actually increase their combat stats and increases efficiency in resource farming. So what I can say is that leveling up is one of the most important aspect in the game. However as you can see over here once you have reached the requirement you will need to use certain items in order for you to level up. So it's not a free level up you will still need to find an item for you to level up. As for professions it doesn't say much about the four professions that we saw but they are called the blacksmith, alchemist, hunters and the merchant and they do say that the higher your profession is the more efficient in gaining more rewards. So for the breeding you can see over here players can breed two necos together to create a dual element neco. So what I can say is that the origin public court meeting is probably gonna be worth a lot since it is only a single element and you can decide what element for you to breed if you have at least two origin NFTs. However they do have a summoning as well but I'm not pretty sure how this works since it is only about two to three lines. So as you can see over here, the battle is in 3D and it looks very familiar to Pokemon Go. And I'm pretty sure Pokemon Go, you will need to actually spam your attack in order for you to increase the gauge for your skill so that you can use your skill. But as of now, there's no info on it yet so we can't really say anything about it. But after I read for a while, it does state that it is a real-time skill-based battle. So this is is probably similar to Pokemon Go where you need to spam on the attack button then you can use your skill. And you can see over here the elements basically determine whether you are boost or debuff when you are facing different kinds of Neko with different elements. So the next one we're gonna see is the stats level and the equipment. So of course the basic stats is the one I told you before is health point, attack, defense, evasion, accuracy and speed. And the CP is probably called the combat power since this is your overall power for your Neko. So for the battle mode, they apparently have a 1v1 battle, 2v2 battle, tag team battle, tournament competition, raid battle and so on since they have a dot 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 over there. Next is the exploration and resource farming and as you can see over here, there's not much info yet. So we're gonna head over to the next one which is called the item crafting. So the item crafting is probably one of the few ways for you guys to actually earn since you can actually sell the item on the market. And personally for me, if let's say this is a play to earn, I would actually focus more on item crafting and selling on the market instead of leveling up 
my Nekos. But I'm pretty sure leveling up your Nekos would actually somehow generate more resources or earns you more money than crafting. And as per normal, this project actually sells the land to players. So the land actually, I'm pretty sure whoever is a landowner can actually earn a lot from those who actually play on their land. And actually after owning the land, you guys can actually establish a guild. So what is the benefit of establishing a guild? So over here it states that guilds can actually organize activities such as auctions, tournaments, allocating items to players that will venture into chaos land to compete for precious items and rare resources. So from the looks of it, they want to make it a little bit like MMORPG over here. But I'm not pretty sure how it's gonna work in a real-time MMO. Maybe it's gonna look like Mirror 4 or maybe it's gonna look a little bit like the ones you see for the Pokemon MMO series. So there's a bunch of different benefits you can see over here and one of the best benefit is definitely the passive income since the guild can set a tag on the land. So currently I think there are four buildings and they are the auction house plus the guild marketplace, the arena and finally the forgery. And finally we are gonna see the play to earn part. Hopefully they update it and as you can see over here there is some update on the play to earn and as you can see over here they have a resource farming. Of course farm resource can be sold on the marketplace for ASG and I'm pretty sure ASG is the name of their token. And you guys are earn from the battle mode which is the PvE and the PvP by crafting which the one I told you guys item crafting breeding and summoning which is the norm in X Infinity the passive income from establishing you and collect taxes this is probably if you have a land and finally a passive income from staking tokens in Neko Temple so this is basically a stake right now we're gonna take a look is their roadmap and as you can see over here the phase 0 basically is complete they are right now on phase 1 which is the first NFT offering of the origin quad nft public mean they already have done their pre-sale so those who are actually waiting for the pre-sale bye bye and for you guys to actually know when is the game gonna release i can say that the game is gonna release at least on the first quarter of 2022 which is on the phase two however that's not the actual gameplay since they only release the neko lab which is the breeding and i'm pretty sure at this point of time they are gonna release the beta gameplay before they head over to phase three which is called the Nekoverse genesis which is on quarter two to quarter 4 of 2022 and for the phase 3 you see over here they are gonna definitely release the battle mode the neko temple the elemental realms unlock which is the pve and the resource farming and the land sale so do expect that this game will not actually launch anytime soon and you can expect the launch to be in between quarter 2 to quarter 4 i know that's a lot of information for you guys to take in but for this case i actually go through more of the projects since i believe that going through blindly a project that i actually do not research about can actually be how i research on real life so whatever you watch for the past i don't know seven or eight minutes is how i usually research for that certain project however the one thing that i forgotten to show you guys is getting to know the team and my question for you guys is do you guys actually love this kind of review where i actually go through blindly or would you actually prefer the short and easy way do comment down below and tell me which one would you prefer a long video or would you guys prefer a short video and of course if you love this kind of content do give me a like and subscribe to my channel until then i will see you guys again the next time